So I just cleaned my kitchen because it was so messy and it was overdue. So I had to do the kitchen stuff. So I put the dishes in the dishwasher. I cleaned the platforms. I cleaned the sink. And now we are heading for car wash because my car needs car wash really bad. So let's go. I'm literally getting down so I can show you how bad the car looks. Like it's really bad. Like just look how dusty it is. Hopefully we get it clean guys. Let's get this bad boy to the car wash. Oh my god, I'm seeing two golden retrievers. <laughs> Oh, this weekend I'm actually flying to Canada. Oh, no way. Yeah. Up there. Oh, meeting my family. Oh, and my parents are flying from India, so we'll be meeting them. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. I'm that's excited. Actually, that's exciting. That's very exciting. I exciting. know. Enjoy your day, Thank okay. you, you too. Bye. I love their customer service. It's so good. absolutely love this car wash it is so nice people are nice the service is nice the car is pretty much really washed but i don't like when the car still has few droplets left on it i don't want no marks on it so i'm gonna go outside and quickly clean everything with the microfiber cloth and uh, do some interior cleaning as well because it looks bad so let's get to that i am actually right now cleaning my dashboard but now that the winter season is gone my floor mats are really bad it has all the uh, salt and everything so it's like all white and i've never ever in my life cleaned the floor mats of the car so this is going to be a little interesting one because i have no idea how that's done i guess we will figure out together how it's going to be uh, the one who works here i just asked like hey i've never done this before can you please tell me how you do that and the way he like explained it to me it seemed pretty fancy I'll take you along so you guys can see it as well. But I hope you guys have been liking my vlogs. You know my car was so bad. Even on the windshield, I couldn't even tell the difference if there was a scratch or was it just dirt. Like it was that bad and I had to, had to leave the house to get this cleaned. I feel I was just back to back so busy with other stuff that I just never got the chance to do that. But now, finally here and I'm gonna do it very well. And you guys have seen how much I enjoy cleaning my car. But it's just I need to come with some enough time here and give enough time and attention to it. I don't like to just rush through it. I don't like to do that. Unless it's already clean from inside and everything, then that's a different scenario. But otherwise, I don't like to. I try to clean as much as I can, like whatever I can. Interiors, I feel like maintaining that is really important. If you keep cleaning regularly every corner, then it's not that hard to maintain. Just be consistent with it. Okay, let's get the mats clean now. Let's go. ever done this before and it was so cool I think there's everything when you do for the first time it feels like an accomplishment I swear to god this this felt good even if it was just cleaning mad but doing it for the first time by yourself I'm proud of myself guys I'm proud of myself so one of my mats they went into the machine but the other one it's this shape right so it wouldn't go in the machine and I asked for assistance and these people, they are so sweet. Like she said that this won't go in the machine because the way machine is set up. So it wouldn't accept such a shape of the mat. But she was so sweet. She's like, let me spray it for you. So she went and cleaned it for me. Now let's place them. Never in my life have I ever done this, but it's fun. 
we finally got done and I'm so happy. Now, the only thing is they don't have anywhere to wash the hands or I never cared to ask. But I'm gonna use my sanitizer. I'm gonna head home now and cook dinner. Let's go home. Okay, so I was gonna cook but I just didn't feel like doing it and I had some office work that I, that was pending that I needed to finish. So, I didn't get time and honestly I was lazy as well. So I just went and got some uh, takeaway. And obviously it had to be Indian food. So I got some Indian food. I got some dal tadka. And it comes with a portion of rice. So that's the rice. And I already had sabji that I had made earlier. So I'm gonna eat that. Honestly speaking, I really want to eat with my hands today. So I'm excited for that. It's a different feeling to eat with my hands. I never used to eat with my hands, okay? Like I couldn't. Like I didn't know how to do that. Because in my school, they used to, like it was a day boarding. They used to literally scold us if we would eat with our hands. They would teach us how to eat with like spoon and everything. I was so used to eating with spoon that I just wouldn't eat with my hands. So I never learned how to eat with my hands. But then slowly, here, I Now, slowly, I've started to get used to it. Not used to like as in a habit, but if, if asked to eat with hands, I can. I feel nice. I feel like, okay, now I'm eating food. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Had not planned on vlogging i really did not feel like doing it but i'm gonna do this anyway i just took a really long nap which was not in the plan because i have a lot to do today but right now we're gonna get ready for a collab so i'm gonna quickly do this come back and pack to go to canada i've not packed yet and i'm the laziest if you've seen my vlogs since the beginning you know that uh, packing is something i don't enjoy it's gonna be a pain but we're gonna get to it but I just wanted to come here and say that I'm not feeling my best right now, like at the moment. But it's always about lifting yourself up and uh, cry it out if you want to cry it out. Let it go off of your shoulders. Let the stress out, okay? So that's what it is. And I have under eye bags because I slept a lot at the wrong time. And I'm going to quickly do my makeup because we need to head out. It's literally 2 a.m. right now. And that's why I sound like this. I tried sleeping, but I just cannot. I have to be at the airport in an hour. I'm going to get up, take a shower, get ready, head out. I tried dozing off, but I couldn't sleep. I don't know, since past 3-4 times when I've been flying, traveling stresses me out a little bit. From packing to actually going to the airport, it used to be fun to me before, just not anymore. And to be honest, I'm just super exhausted. Yesterday night, I couldn't sleep. I was editing and then I had to wake up uh, very early for my meetings. Uh, I was in meetings all morning. In the afternoon, I, that's when I got off work and um, I dozed off um, and I slept for two hours straight. I don't know how that happened. I woke up somehow. I, I quickly ate my lunch. I, I finished my makeup. I picked up my friend. We head to the location for the collaboration, for which I don't want to talk too much about. Anyway, so after that, uh, we both went and got some bubble tea because the weather was too hot today. And anyway, so we finished that and then now... Um, it's time for me to get ready and head to the airport. Best thing out of all of this is that I'm going to meet my parents and I'm going to meet my brother and my sister-in-law. So I'm really, really excited about that. I feel like that's going to be my reward after all of this. So. Okay, now I'm going to go get ready. Bye. I'm waiting for my Uber to be here and I'm going to head to the airport. I barely made it to the airport at this point, to be honest. Like... That Uber wasn't the best. I didn't like his driving, but anyway. I'm just waiting for the check-in counters to open so that I can drop off my bag and then head to the security. Just checked in our bags and now we're heading to the security. Guys, I wanted to quickly show you my outfit. So I have this cropped blazer and this one active uh, top and then these yoga pants. Guys, I have two aunties behind me. I don't know वो कब से किसी की तो एक बारे में बातें कर रही है और मुझे ना वो इंडिया वाली आंटी नहीं होती हर जगह कान लगा के बैठी होती वैसे वाली फीलिंग आ रही पर मैं क्या करूं मेरे पीछे ही एग्जैक्टली है मेरे गेट पे लिटरली दो से तीन लोग ही हैं 
पता नहीं और लोग होने भी वाले हैं या लिटरली एम टी प्लेन होने वाला है पता नहीं बट आई होप आई कैन गेट सम स्लीप ऑन द प्लेन बिकॉज आई एम रियली रियली टायर्ड सो दैट टायर्ड आई स्लेप लाइक अ बेबी ऑन द फ्लाइट गॉट थ्रू इमिग्रेशन नाउ आई एम हेडिंग टू गेट माई बैग एंड देन मेक माई ब्रदर I'm trying to find my brother and I can't find him. So I'm actually running late, very bad right now. But we have a puja right now at my brother's place. I wanted to quickly come here to show you. This is the blouse that was in the sari that you guys have been loving on Instagram. But this is actually the blouse. It's not a blouse. It's like a top for this lehenga. And this is what I did. Like this was a jugad that I just did this as a blouse for that sari. So just wanted to quickly come here and show you that. And let's quickly change now. So just to give you an idea. this is the lehenga and that's the blouse i mean the top and this is the ruffle the patta there you go let's go <laughs> Like the small droplets that it it's left that that are left. अरे कहना क्या चाहते हो? 